Hello students. In this video, I'm going to discuss solution of this question. This is a simple question, but its solution uh, requires a systematic approach. If you do not approach systematically, uh, then you may not be able to get its uh, so final answer. Okay. So let's discuss this question. See, this, this, this is a well-known type of question. To solve this type of question, we uh, put here, we put uh, e to the power iota theta is equal to z. Okay. So we convert this integration into a complex integration. Okay. So if you put e to the power iota theta equal to z and you differentiate it here, so you get uh, e to the power iota theta and iota d theta that is equal to dz. And now in place of e to the power iota theta, we will put z again. So we'll get here d theta is equal to dz divided by iota z. Okay. And uh, we put cos theta, we know that cos theta is equal to e to the power iota theta plus e to the power minus iota theta and divided by 2. So therefore, cos theta will become this is z and this is z to the power minus 1 and divided by 2. Similarly, sine theta will become sine theta is e to the power iota theta and minus e to the power minus iota theta and divided by 2. Okay. So, sorry, 2 iota. So this becomes z minus z minus 2 one and divide by two iota. Okay, so in place of sine theta, we'll put this, okay? And uh, see, uh, if we put uh, e to the power iota theta equal to z, this implies actually that mod z is actually equal to one, okay? If you take modulus both sides, you'll get one. So that, that means it is a circle of radius one. So basically we are now converting this uh, integration uh, into a complex integration on a unit circle, okay? So therefore this integration will become, I i is equal to this uh, will become a complex integration on a unit circle okay so see this contour is actually a unit circle all right so in place of sine theta we'll put this so this will become actually uh, see this can be written like this uh, z square minus 1 and divide by 2 iota z okay similarly this can be written as z square plus 1 divide by uh, 2 z Okay, so let's put uh, this here so this becomes z square minus 1 uh, whole square and divided by, we'll get here uh, minus four z square. That's what we get. And uh, this becomes a plus. Actually, in this question, it is mentioned, uh, generally mentioned that a is greater than b and that is greater than zero. So these are positive constants and a is greater than b, okay? So this is a plus and here in place of b, uh, uh, we'll put this, b, uh, sorry, b and in place of cos theta, we'll put this z square plus one and divide by two z. Okay, so this is what we have. And in place of d theta, we'll put d theta is equal to dz and divide by iota z. Okay, so now we can uh, take uh, uh, LCM here and uh, simplify it. So if you do that, 4 and 2 will cancel out. You will get here um, basically minus 2. And if you take this iota in numerator, it will become minus iota. So basically, we are what we are going to get here is this actually. Uh, this will become uh, integration uh, z square minus 1 whole square and there will be dz. This is a closed loop integration. Okay. And here we are going to get, uh, when you take LCM, it will become bz square plus 2az plus b. Okay. This b will multiply with 1. Okay. And now uh, you see this z and this z will cancel out. So you will get a factor of z square also here. So there is a z square. Okay, and four will cancel with this two. So there will be a factor of two and iota I'm taking to numerator. So we'll get one iota, okay, and divide by two. Okay, this is what I think uh, we will get, okay. Now, um, so uh, we will apply Cauchy residue theorem uh, here to solve this uh, question. So basically we will have to find the singular point within uh, a unit circle, okay. So obviously if you put z equal to zero, uh, you see here, uh, this uh, function is not analytic at z equal to zero. So z is uh, z equal to zero is a singular point here. So there is a pole of order two at z equal to. Okay, so z equal to zero, I'm can say that a pole hai, pole of order two. Okay. Similarly, when this function becomes zero, so we can write this function like this: b square plus. Sorry, it is not b square. It was I think uh, b z square. Sorry. It, it is bz square. So let us write it like this. This is bz square. 
So when we write bz square, see here. So this is bz square plus 2az, okay, plus b. This can be written like this, bz minus some z1 and z minus z2. So if suppose we make it zero, okay, so this I'm writing as b, uh, this quadratic equation in this form. So z1 and z2 will be its roots, okay. So when you uh, write uh, this equal to zero, you will get two roots of this equation. So uh, two roots will be actually equal to Z1 will be equal to, you can find root of this quadratic equation. So that is equal to minus A and plus root under, uh, this will be A square minus uh, B square upon uh, B, okay? That's what one root will be. And the other root will be Z2 will be equal to, you can calculate the roots of quadratic equation. I'm not telling you how to calculate, okay? So Z2 will be equal to, this is minus A and minus root under A square minus B square and divide by B. Okay, so these are the two roots, okay? See, uh, if you calculate magnitude of this root, it will be more than one. If you calculate magnitude of this one, it will be less than one. So here modulus of Z1, you can check yourself is less than one and modulus of Z2 is actually greater than one. So we can say that this singular point Z equal to Z1, okay? is uh, within uh, within the uh, unit circle and uh, z2 uh, is also a singular point of this function okay but that is outside the unit circle okay because we are doing integration here on a unit circle okay mod z is equal to one all right so therefore uh, we can say that this integration i uh, will be equal to iota upon two and according to cauchy residue theorem this will be two pi iota and uh, here residue residue at z equal to zero and plus residue residue at z equal to z1 because z1 is within the contour okay so we can write like this residue at z equal to zero and residue at z equal to z1 okay so now uh, in we have to calculate residue at these two points okay so let's uh, see this function uh, in place of this i can write uh, uh, b z minus z1 so uh, we can rewrite uh, this one like this iota divided by 2 here and this is z square minus 1 okay uh, z square minus 1 and <clears throat> whole square dz and divided by i am writing this as b multiplied by z minus z1 okay and z minus z2 Okay. And also there is a term Z square. So we can write that here also multiplied by Z square. Okay. That's what we have. Okay. So the uh, we have to calculate residue of so what I can do. This, see, there was iota divided by 2. We can write B also here. Okay. So basically we will be calculating residue of this function which is present here. So function that, that is present here is F of Z is actually equal to Z square minus 1 and divided by here Z minus Z1 and here z minus z2 okay and z square so that is the function so this for this function we have to find residue at uh, z equal to z1 and z equal to z2 all right now you see here uh, this uh, denominator uh, this denominator we wrote uh, see this this is the quadratic equation okay uh, so when we solve this quadratic equation we get these two roots okay so this root these roots will have some property see uh, uh, if you find some of the roots z1 plus z2 you will get here uh, minus 2a by b. And if you calculate uh, product of roots z1 into z2, you will get here, uh, this is c by a. So that is actually one, okay? So therefore in place of z1, we can sometimes write one by z2, okay? So in place of z1, we can write one by z2, okay? Now you see here, let us calculate residue at z equal to z1. So if we calculate residue at z equal to z1, oh, okay. So this is pole of order one, okay. So therefore this will be simply, uh, this will be simply z1 square minus, and sorry, there was a whole square term here. Okay, I think there was whole square. See, yes, there was whole square. So we'll get here uh, z1 square whole square, and here we will get uh, z1 minus z2 and divided by z1 square. Okay, that's what we are getting, okay. Now you see this can be written. So this is the residue at z equal to z1 because this is pole of order one, okay? So if you apply formula uh, for residue at uh, pole of order one, you will get this one. This is what we are getting, okay? So this this can be written like this, z in z1 into z1 minus one whole square and divided by, here we, we have z1 minus z2 and here z1 square. So now what we can do is, 
see here this is equal to uh, in place of z1 z1 we'll write uh, 1 by z2 see here we have written z1 is equal to 1 by z2 so we can write z1 and this is 1 by z2 okay 1 by z2 minus 1 whole square and here we have z1 minus z2 okay uh, and z1 square now you see uh, when you take lcm okay you will get when you simplify it you get z1 minus z2 whole square and by z2 uh, divide by z2 square so 1 z1 minus z2 will cancel out so you will get z1 minus z2 and uh, divided by you will get z1 into z2 whole square okay that's what you get so now z1 minus z2 see uh, from here we can calculate see this is z1 and this is z2 so if you calculate z1 minus z2 you will get uh, this a factor will cancel a term a will cancel out and you will get root two times root under a square minus b square by b Okay, so this becomes two times uh, root under a square minus b square and divided by b. Okay, and z1 into z2, see we have written here z1 multiplied by z2 is 1. Okay, so we'll get here 1, 1 is square. So that's what we have gotten. Residue at uh, z equal to z1 is equal to this much, two times um, uh, root under a square minus b square by b. Okay, now let's calculate uh, residue. Okay, here, let's see. Yeah, so let's calculate now residue at z equal to zero. Because, uh, so this is a pole of order two actually. So if you calculate residue at this point, you get here actually d by dz. And here, uh, derivative of this function, z square minus one whole square and divided by z minus z1 and here z minus z2. Okay, this we get. So let's different and this will be evaluated at z equal to zero. So if you evaluate it, uh, see, we just have to do differentiation and put z equal to zero. So let us uh, use uh, u by v form. Okay. So first we differentiate this. So we get here two uh, times z square minus one and here then two z and multiplied by this function. So z minus z one and z minus z two. This is what we get. Okay. Now <clears throat> minus. So I'm using u by v form of differentiation, okay? So what we'll get is now, uh, we'll differentiate this term and multiply it by this term. So we'll get here z square minus one whole square. And uh, we, ha we have to differentiate this term. So I'll use product rule to differentiate this. So when you differentiate this, you get one. So here you get z minus z2 and plus. When you... Uh, uh, differentiate this one you will uh, basically you will you will get one and you will uh, this term will be left actually so z minus z1 okay so this is what we have uh, in the numerator and divided by we will get whole square of this term z minus z1 and z uh, minus z2 whole square of this so this will become a square of this and this has to be evaluated at z equal to zero so if you put z equal to zero everywhere, see what we get. This term, this whole term will become zero because of this uh, z, okay? Now, if you put z equal to zero here, we'll get minus, okay? And here z zero, it will become z one minus z one plus z two. So basically it will become plus z one plus z two because there is a minus sign here and this minus minus plus, okay? And when you put here z equal to zero, you will get actually z one multiplied by z two whole square. So z one, um, plus z2 we, we had calculated this is minus 2a by b and z1 by uh, z1 into z2 we had calculated 1 so this is minus 2a by b okay that's what we had calculated right z1 plus z2 minus 2a by b all right so that's the uh, residue at z is equal to 0 so residue at z equal to 0 is this much and residue at uh, z equal to z1 is this much okay so therefore now let's write here okay so we can write this integral. Integral was equal to, see we had left here, uh, this is iota upon 2b and 2 pi iota. So basically two and two will cancel out. Okay, this two and two will cancel out iota and iota will become iota square, so which is minus one. So basically minus pi by b we have. So we have minus pi by b and sum of residue. Okay, so sum of residues, so this is a term. So this is uh, two times uh, root under a square minus b square and divided by b and minus, uh, we have this term 2a by b. Okay, so multiply by minus sign and take two common, okay, and b also common. So we'll get here, if you multiply by, so 
uh, minus sign, we'll get this is pi and b will be common. So we'll get pi b square and two is common. So we'll get two pi, okay? And here, now we'll get here, uh, this minus minus plus, so we'll get here a and this will become minus uh, a square minus b square. Okay, so that's the answer. Okay, so the, that's the answer of this is the answer. Okay, See, we, we could uh, get the answer easily because we used some systematic approach. Uh, for example, here when uh, there was z1 square, we wrote it as z1 into z1 and in place of z1, we wrote 1 by z2. Otherwise, uh, if you don't do this, then, you know, actually this calculation becomes somewhat complicated, okay? Uh, so you will have to do lots of calculation, okay, in that case. So that's the answer of this question, okay? So if you have some uh, question which you are not able to solve, okay, you can share with us, okay? You can uh, join our Telegram uh, group uh, of Optimist classes, which is, uh, uh, whose link is given in the description. Uh, you can uh, share your your question there, okay? And you can send uh, your questions uh, to me also if there is any question which you are not able to solve, okay? You can send, uh, sometimes I will uh, uh, provide it solution whenever I get time, okay? So, mostly I will try to uh, provide solution within uh, one day or two day, okay? So on this number, you can uh, send your queries, okay, uh, or your questions. Uh, if you have any uh, difficult difficult question, which you are not able to solve, okay. Thank you for watching.